Hey there! Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. We've got the dream team, Sam, John, and Gary. Hey, I'm Samantha, your plant-based pal. Hey, I'm John, the veggie virtuoso. And I'm Gary, the mastermind behind the magic. Together, we're here to dish out some seriously awesome vegan wisdom. Thanks a ton for tuning in and sticking with us. Let's get leafy! Join us in episode 59 as we delve into the fascinating world of parchment paper and silicone safety. Ever wondered if there's oil applied to parchment paper? Or how safe is silicone? Let's find out. No. Parchment paper is not oil in its manufacturing process. It is made of cellulose-based paper that has been treated to not have a non-stick properties without the need for oil. It is coated with silicone, which gives it a non-stick, grease-proof, eat-resistant surface, making it ideal for baking and cooking without additional greasing. Is silicone safe for human consumption? Silicone is generally considered safe for human consumption when it is food grade and used according to manufacturer guidelines. Food grade silicone is a non-toxic polymer made without petroleum-based chemicals, BPA, BPS, or fillers. It is resistant to high and low temperatures, making it suitable for various food applications, from baking and cooking to food storage. The FDA has deemed food-grade silicone safe for direct contact with food, indicating that it does not react with food or beverages or produce hazardous fumes. However, not all silicone products are created equal and the quality can vary. High-quality, food-grade silicone, ideally medical-grade, or at least food-grade, is recommended to minimize the possibility of chemical leaching. Some studies have raised concerns about the potential for certain silicones to leach synthetic chemicals, particularly at high temperatures or when in contact with fatty substances. Despite these concerns, the consensus among health authorities like Health Canada and the FDA is that silicone cookware and utensils are safe for food use when used as intended. Remember, while silicone is generally safe for human consumption, it's crucial to opt for high-quality, food-grade silicone products. Following the manufacturer's instructions for use and care is key to ensuring your safety in the kitchen. What are the differences between food-grade silicone and regular silicone? The differences between food-grade silicone and regular silicone primarily lie in their intended uses, safety standards, and quality. Here's a detailed comparison. 1. Safety and Quality Standards Food-grade silicone. This type of silicone is specifically formulated to meet strict safety standards for food-related applications. It undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it does not contain harmful chemicals and is safe for direct contact with food. Food-grade silicone is non-toxic, non-reactive, and stable, which prevents it from leaching chemicals into food under normal use conditions. Regular silicone, also known as general purpose or industrial grade silicone, this type is used in various non-food applications, such as automotive, electronics, and construction. It does not undergo the stringent testing required for food grade silicone and may contain unsafe fillers or additives for food contact. 2. Certifications and Compliance Food-grade silicone must comply with specific regulatory standards such as FDA, Food and Drug Administration, and LFB, German Food and Feed Code, 
substances that could harm human health when used in food-related applications. Free from substances that could harm human health when used in food-related applications. Regular silicone does not need to meet stringent food safety regulations, and is often not suitable for applications where food contact is possible. It is typically used in environments where food safety is not a concern. Three applications: food-grade silicone. This material is commonly used in kitchenware, like baking molds, cooking utensils, and food storage containers. It is favored for its durability, flexibility, and heat resistance, making it ideal for cooking and baking applications. Regular silicone, used in various industrial applications such as sealants, gaskets, tubing, and insulation materials. These applications exploit silicone's mechanical properties, such as its flexibility, weather resistance, and thermal stability, but do not require food safety considerations. Four physical properties: food-grade silicone. Characterized by its purity, lack of smell or taste, and resistance to microbial growth, it is designed to withstand repeated use without degrading in high and low temperatures. Regular silicone; these may contain additives that enhance certain properties, such as color, elasticity, or durability. But they are not necessarily safe for food contact and can affect the silicone's smell and color. In summary, the critical differences between food grade and regular silicone revolve around their safety for food contact, compliance with health regulations, intended uses, and physical properties. Food grade silicone is designed and tested to be safe and effective in food-related applications. In contrast, regular silicone is suited for a broader range of industrial and non-food uses. How is food-grade silicone tested for safety? Food-grade silicone is tested for safety through rigorous standards and procedures to ensure it is suitable for contact with food. The testing process focuses on the material's chemical stability, non-toxicity. An ability to withstand various temperatures without degrading or leaching harmful substances into food. Here are the key aspects of how food-grade silicone is tested for safety. One, FDA compliance. Food-grade silicone must comply with the Food and Drug Administration (FDA) regulations. Which specify that the material must be safe for direct contact with food. This involves ensuring that the silicone contains no harmful substances that could migrate into food under normal usage conditions. Two, temperature resistance. Food-grade silicone is tested for its ability to withstand high and low temperatures. This is crucial because silicone kitchen products, which involve varying temperatures, are often used for cooking and baking. The material must maintain its integrity and not degrade or leach chemicals when exposed to temperatures typically used in food preparation and storage. Three stability. Tests are conducted to ensure that food-grade silicone does not react with food or beverages or produce any hazardous fumes. This involves exposing the silicone to different food substances and conditions to observe potential chemical reactions or breakdowns. Four leaching tests. Specific tests are carried out to determine whether any substances leach from the silicone into food, particularly under conditions that mimic real-life use, such as heating or prolonged contact with food. These tests help to identify any potential migration of chemicals at levels that could be harmful to health. Five physical properties: the physical properties of silicone. Such as its flexibility, non-stick nature, and durability 
are also assessed. This includes testing for wear and tear, resistance to food oils and chemicals, and its effectiveness in preventing contamination and bacterial growth. Six certifications and standards. In addition to FDA regulations, food-grade silicone is tested against other international standards, such as LFB Germany. And EU food contact material standards, which may have different or additional requirements. These standards often involve more comprehensive testing to cover a broader range of potential chemical interactions and safety concerns. Seven third-party testing. Food-grade silicone products are often sent to independent laboratories for third-party testing. These labs verify compliance with safety standards and provide certifications that can reassure consumers about the safety of the silicone products they are purchasing. By undergoing these tests, food-grade silicone is ensured to be a safe, reliable, and practical material for use in various food-related applications, from baking mats and cooking utensils to food storage containers. The potential health risk associated with silicone exposure, mainly from various silicone products used in everyday life, include one endocrine disruption. Some studies suggest that specific types of silicones, such as certain siloxanes, could potentially disrupt hormone signaling pathways. This disruption could affect various bodily functions, including reproductive health and metabolism. Two, skin and respiratory irritation. Direct contact with silicone-containing products can sometimes cause skin irritation, such as redness, itching, or inflammation. Inhalation of silicone particles, particularly in occupational settings. Might lead to respiratory discomfort. Three leaching of chemicals. There is concern that silicone products, mainly when used at high temperatures, might leach chemicals into food. Studies have shown that at temperatures above 300 degrees Fahrenheit, silicone bakeware can leach substances into high-fat foods. Although the levels detected are generally within safety limits set by regulatory bodies, four long-term environmental impact. While not a direct health risk to humans, silicone's environmental persistence is a concern. Silicones are durable and not biodegrade easily, leading to long-term environmental accumulation. This durability means discarded silicone products can persist in the environment for extended periods. Five, potential carcinogenicity and impaired fertility. Some animal studies have indicated that certain siloxanes might have the potential to cause cancers or impair fertility. However, these effects are generally associated with high levels of exposure that are not typical for everyday use of silicone products. Six migration and blockage risks from injectable silicone, specifically for injectable silicone used in cosmetic enhancements, there is a risk of migration within the body. Which can lead to blockages in blood vessels and potentially life-threatening conditions such as strokes or embolisms. It is important to note that while there is a potential risk associated with silicone, many silicone products are considered safe for everyday use, especially those that are food grade and meet stringent regulatory standards. However. Ongoing research and adherence to usage guidelines are recommended to mitigate potential risk. Tune into our next bonus book review. O M G Good, Instant Pot Meals, Plant-Based and Oil-Free by Jill McKeever. Thanks so much for tuning into the podcast. We really appreciate you listening, and can't wait to have you back for our next exciting episode all about veganism.
Could you please consider supporting my podcast? If you enjoy this episode, you could contribute by gifting $5. Alternatively, you could donate through the Buy Me a Coffee website. The address can be found in the show notes. Your support means a lot. I aim for accuracy, but medicine evolves and approaches may differ. My views are evidence-based yet open to feedback and new insights. No pharmaceutical or medical company funding ensures an unbiased perspective. However, this content isn't medical advice. Consult your physician for personalized guidance on health concerns.